Hey guys, my name is Luis, I'm a Peruvian architect and I've been living in the San Francisco Bay Area for about 20 years. I think design is a process in which we co-create with our clients and sometimes those same clients don't have the tools or the knowledge to understand a floor plan, a building section or an elevation. Hand drawing and sketching is very important to us because it helps us to communicate and transfer those same ideas onto paper so our clients can uh, understand better our intentions and ideas behind our designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a volumetric diagram using Morfolio Trace. Okay, so I'm going to open the Morfolio Trace app and select a custom page. Let's go for a blank and let's go for an 18 by 24 size. For scale, I'm going to pick 1 8. Just remember that I'm just picking these uh, sizes and scale just as a reference. Uh, I'm not going to use any uh, measurement system. Uh, I'm just going to use units. Okay. So here's my, my page. I'm going to change the color uh, to white. This is just personal preference. I'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit and I'm going to lock the translation of my layer. So it's going to be locked right there. Okay. Okay. So I already have my page over here next step is to create a, a base plane this base plane uh, is going to be uh, uh, used uh, as the base for my volumes uh, it can be used as the size of the lot or as the ground i'm going to bring the ruler tool and i'm going to rotate it 30 degrees because this is going to be an is isometric view okay okay 30 degrees right there i'm going to make a zoom and I'm going to use the pencil tool right now it's activated and I'm going to use uh, any color in this case I'm going to use blue and for the uh, width of my pencil I'm going to choose four number four I think that's that's okay okay let's start and create one line over here and I'm just gonna bring the magic lasso tool this tool is very helpful let, let me show you how to do this i'm gonna copy that same line and i'm gonna make a mirror image horizontal mirror image and i'm gonna place it right there so we already have two lines for our base plane okay i'm gonna select again the two lines make a copy and create thickness for my base plane i'm gonna select again copy and this time I'm gonna do a mirror image but this is gonna be a vertical mirror image okay so just like that we have our base plane over here the next step is to create the the planes for the uh, for the volumes uh, just the, the plan view so I'm gonna start creating the the main volume the main uh, plan view of the volume it's gonna be just a square a simple square I'm gonna bring again my ruler tool and let's create a 10 by 10 square isometric view of the plan view okay uh, i don't need a ruler tool anymore and applying the same technique as we apply for the base plane i'm gonna copy and make a mirror image and that's the two lines we had before and again i'm gonna copy these two lines and make a mirror image but this time it's gonna be a vertical mirror image okay I'm gonna select the entire plan view of my volume and I'm just gonna center in relation with the uh, base plane okay and just like that I have my base plane and uh, my main volume uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start creating my other two planes Okay, the next step is to create our volumes by copying the plan view and move it above the base plane. And for doing that, I'm gonna have to draw a vertical line. So it's gonna help us to be the, the path for the, for the planes. Okay, next I have to select the magic lasso, select the three planes, make a copy, and just like this, copy my three planes over here okay now I'm gonna give 
the heights for each volume. Uh, for the main volume, uh, let's go for 15 units. I think 15 units is gonna work. 15 units over here. For this one, let's make it six units. Six units. And for this one, let's make it, uh, let's make it 10, 10 units. Okay, and I'm gonna continue uh, creating my three volumes, adding more lines. Okay, so now that I have my volumes created, uh, I'm gonna um, create copies of each of the volumes. The main volume is gonna go uh, on the top and the secondary volumes are gonna go to the sides. So for doing that, I'm gonna use the same technique I use for uh, moving the, the planes. So I'm gonna create a reference line over here, which is gonna help me as a path for moving the volumes. Okay, I'm gonna create another one here. And I already have the vertical over here. So I'm gonna bring back again uh, the magic lasso. I'm just gonna zoom a little bit and just select this volume over here. Okay, make a copy and just place my volume right here on one side. I'm gonna do the same for the for the other secondary volume over here. Just select the volume, make a copy, and just place it somewhere here is fine, I think. Yes, right here is fine. And then I'm gonna do the next, uh, uh, the next volume as well, and this is gonna go on the top. So I'm just gonna uh, select the main volume over here, make a copy, and just place it uh, somewhere here. So now I have my, uh, my three volumes, uh, two on each side and just the, the one on the top. Okay, now that I have my work lines created, uh, my reference lines, I'm gonna start creating uh, the outline of my volumes. So I'm gonna create one more layer. Uh, I'm gonna change the color to white. And this layer, I'm gonna reduce the opacity so I can see a little bit of the working lines. I'm just gonna tap on translation lock and I'm gonna start uh, creating my my outlines. For doing the outline of the uh, volumes, I'm just gonna change my pen. This time I'm gonna use a technical pen. So the nice thing about this pen is that uh, it creates lines, uh, continuous lines, uh, consistent. The width is gonna be consistent. So I'm gonna change to black and let's make it uh, six, okay? Just for the outline of the volumes. I'm gonna go ahead and create the outline for this volume. This is the, the main volume. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna create one line here. Oops. One line here, so you can see that the width is consistent. And I'm gonna create this one here, okay. And just using again the magic lasso I'm gonna select these lines make a copy and make a horizontal mirror image and just place it just like this so I can create my first outline okay so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start creating the outline for all the other volumes uh, including the the planes over here Okay, now I'm gonna do the same, but for the interior lines. I'm gonna change uh, the width of my pen here. Uh, let's make it a three. And I'm just gonna start creating my interior lines. So as you can see, I already finished uh, creating all my interior lines. Now I can turn off uh, the layer of my construction lines, uh, my reference lines. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and add color to all the volumes. Uh, for doing that, I have to create one more layer. So the colors are gonna be in a separate layer. 
I'm gonna change to white paper and I'm gonna make it transparent. One important thing to, uh, uh, to point out is that I'm gonna change the paper bleeding to multiply. That's gonna allow me uh, to have the colors on the, on the background always. So all the lines are gonna come uh, to the foreground, okay? So I'm gonna start with this volume right here. Uh, and I'm gonna use the Smart Fill tool. Uh, let's make it, uh, let's make this volume blue, okay? I'm just gonna move here, add color, add color, and add color. Very easy, very easy to use tool, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for the rest of my volumes. Okay, so I have all my volumes and planes with colors and what I'm gonna do next is just to place the layer of the colors right below my other layer, the line layer. And as you can see, I can control opacity and I can change the color so it's gonna look nicer. Uh, let's put it somewhere here. I think it looks good here. Okay, so now I have all my volumes with colors. The final step is uh, gonna be adding some lines and arrows and also using some morpholio stencils. Okay, so I'm gonna start uh, adding the dotted lines connecting the, the volumes. I'm gonna just pick another color. Let's pick gray and I think four is gonna work for this. Okay, oh, first of all, let's create uh, a separate layer over here. Change the color to white and make it transparent and just lock translation okay so okay so i'm gonna pick dotted line gray color bring the ruler tool and i'm just gonna start creating my lines okay it's gonna be a dotted line one per corner so it's gonna be one line per corner So I'm gonna do the same for the other volumes. And now I'm gonna add arrows using Morpholios stencils. Okay, let's go here and yes, I think this is gonna work. Yeah, the dotted line, I'm gonna use this one. Okay, let's place this one over here. Let's make it smaller, smaller and place it somewhere here, okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna use black. Okay, once I created one, I can just copy this same arrow here, place it again here, Place it again over here. And place it again over here. And finally over here. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna place my cardinal points. I'm gonna bring the protractor tool. And this is a very helpful tool. As you can see, you can change the shape easily. I'm just gonna change the shape to accommodate the size. Okay, probably somewhere here, somewhere here, probably somewhere here. Yeah, right there is fine. And I'm gonna use black color and I'm gonna use three. And the line is gonna be changed as well. And I can create my elliptical shape over here. Okay, and now I'm gonna create my cardinal axis. Okay, right here in the middle. And right here in the other direction. Also right in the middle. Here and here. 
Okay, now I'm gonna add the sun. Uh, I'm gonna bring Morfolio stencils again. Pick the sun stencils. Okay, I'm just gonna move the stencils over here. Okay, and I'm gonna add some color. Let me bring this one first. Okay, so I'm gonna add some color. Some yellow color over here. And I'm gonna bring back this one. And I'm gonna add another color over here so I can have two different colors for the sun. Okay. I'm gonna select the magic lasso tool and make a copy and put the sun on this other area. And now I'm gonna bring the protractor tool again. I'm gonna create the path for the sun, okay? So let me show you. Sometimes it's nice or better to, to use both hands. I think somewhere over there is fine. So I'm gonna create the line for the path of the sun. It's gonna go like this. Okay. I'm gonna create, I'm gonna copy again the sun. Okay. And I'm gonna just place it over here. So I already have the path of the sun. Okay. Okay, now I can add some uh, stencils for the wind. I'm gonna pick uh, the arrow stencil that Morfolio has over here. I'm gonna move the stencil somewhere here. Use blue color and just start uh, adding color to the stencil. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna select the stencil, uh, the the arrow uh, with the magic lasso. Make a copy. Make another copy. So now we have the wind. And I'm gonna copy these three. And I'm gonna put them here. Make a mirror image. Mirror image. And we have the sun coming from both directions. Okay. Okay. Okay guys, this is the final result. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you find it helpful and I'll see you around.